Good evening and thanks again for joining us on today's edition of City News Daily on City TV. My name is Pearl Lakanya Ofori. In the news, Northern Regional Chairman of the New Patriotic Party dismisses reports he's planning to disrupt President Kufuada's visit to that part of the country. We have the details of that story. To our very first story for this evening and the Northern Regional Chairman of the New Patriotic Party, Daniel Bugrinabu, has rejected claims that he is organizing some youth of the party to disrupt President Kufuado's visit to that area. President Kufuado will visit the Northern Region on Friday as part of a seven-day tour of the three regions of the North. Media reports suggest that Daniel Bugrinabu, who is unhappy about some appointments made by the president, is planning to use the occasion to protest at these appointments. But speaking to City News Daily, Daniel Bugrinabu said the reports are untrue and should be disregarded. Now let's do some education-related stories and 13 students of the Islamic Senior High School in Kumasi in the Ashanti region are facing the school's disciplinary committee for misconduct. The students comprising nine females and four males appeared in a video that went viral on social media which showed them dancing to a very popular song, the One Corner Song. The circulation of the video prompted school authorities to invite their parents yesterday for a meeting with management of the institution. The school has referred the issue to the Ashanti Regional Education Directorate. Now, some students who spoke to City News on condition of anonymity said they were not happy with the actions of their colleagues. Uh, but in a related development, the Council of Imams and Zongo Chiefs in the Ashanti region has condemned the act. They are further asking the school authorities to consider appropriate punitive action against the student to serve as a deterrent to others. Now, records of the Ghana Maritime Authority, some dating back to 2002, have been destroyed. Now, this happened when fire guarded part of the authority's head office in Accra. The incident took place a day ahead of an economic and organized crime office forensic audit into the operations of the authority. The Director General of the Ghana Maritime Authority, Kwame Iwusu, who confirmed the development to City News Daily, said... The far guard of the finance department of his outfit last Wednesday destroying very important documents. He said investigations are underway to establish the cause of the fire. In other news for this evening, the Deputy Executive Secretary of the Microfinance and Small Loan Center, Maslock, Mami Ifia Akoto says her outfit has asked the Attorney General to review the deal involving the purchase of 350 vehicles under the previous NDC administration. According to her, checks had revealed that the cars, which were being sold for $9,000 in the showrooms of Mark Auto and Spare Parts Ghana Limited, were purchased by the government at a cost of $16,000 per vehicle. The vehicles were meant for drivers operating under the Ghana Private Road Transport Union on a half purchase basis. Speaking to City News Daily, Mami Efiakoto said the AG was reviewing the contract with Mark Ghana Limited while negotiations were ongoing with the company over a possible reduction of the prices. Before we go, Ghana's senior minister, Yao Safamava, says the country has what it takes to implement the One Student, One Chocolate Bar program. Well, President Kufuado at the World Cocoa Day celebration in Kumasi in the Ashanti region yesterday announced that his government will soon roll out a program that will see every school-going child from the basic to the secondary level enjoy free chocolate every day. Now, Ghana is one of the leading producers of cocoa beans, but enjoys a lean market share of world cocoa budget worth $100 billion. The situation, Yao Safumafu says, is pathetic. Speaking to City News Daily, he said that the program will create a market for chocolate produced in the country. And that does it for today's edition of City News Daily on City TV. My name is Piala Kanyo Fui. Thanks so much for your time. Second Image International Admissions in Progress. Courses available include hairdressing, beauty therapy and fashion. Call us on 0243 331 999. Evening and weekend classes are also available.